say something about this cabinet? No, okay. The message, Christmas message will be given by Father Thomas. It is his privilege because usually the head of the family gives the Christmas message, but at the same time today we honor Father. But I have to say a few words because for the Christmas I was not here. You know what is Christmas? The birth of Christ. Yeah. You know, when uh, we reflect about Christ, the birth of the Savior, Emmanuel, God with us, I am reminded of a story. Now, there was this little boy, Augustine, who was born in South Africa, who has been always asking questions. You know, like maybe in the class there are some, uh, you know, you may know, who will be always asking questions and troubling the professor. So the professor has to be. Very smart, you know, but the professor should never curtail or the curiosity of the students by sometimes, you know, very harsh words or by bullying or shaming him. No, but in a very nice way, he has to tell, okay, wait, maybe at the end of the class I will give you a chance and give chance to everyone. Okay, that's not the point. Uh, so this boy asked the question, the little Augustine asked the question. What language does God speak? That was his question. Uh, he asked his parents. And his parents were not able to answer what language God speaks. Then finally, you know, he had asked, he's so curious. You know, you should be also curious. You should also ask the right questions. There is nothing wrong. You are philosophers, you are students. So he asked his neighbors, his friends, what language does God speak? And they were also not able to answer his question. Then as he grew, he set, set out of his village, his family. Then he started a journey to find out, to get the answer, what language God speaks. Then he travels to the villages, towns, cities and the entire South Africa. And he did not get a satisfactory answer. Then finally, then he travels all the continents. How many continents are there? Seven. 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 Okay. Uh, so seven continents. He travels. He travels. He asked everyone, uh, the people he met, the you know the scientists, the philosophers. No, they, he didn't get a satisfactory answer. Finally, surely the days went by, months went by, years went by. He also you know grew old. <coughs> then finally he reached there. Uh, in Jerusalem, a town or village called Bethlehem. Then he searched, when the night came, he searched for a place to stay, to spend that night. But he did not find a, you know, a lot or a hotel to stay. Then he wanted to, he went out of that village, outside, in the outskirts. Uh, then, as he was, you know, going outside, very beautiful scenery, finally, he found a small, you know, hut and uh, small place, a kind of cave. Then he was very curious and he heard some sound there. Then he peeped uh, inside there. Then there that mother spoke of. What mother and uh, what father and what child, they were there. And the mother spoke up and said, Welcome, Augustine. And I know you have come here with a question. And he was really shocked, surprised. <coughs> and how could this uh, woman, mother, know what was his question? Then the mother told, yes, you have been traveling around the world to know what language God speaks. And now your journey ends here and you know, you get the answer, what language God speaks. What language God speaks? Language. Love and sharing. That is the language that he <coughs> found in that cave where Joseph, Mary and Jesus was there. So that is the crux, that is the central message of Christmas that is love, sharing and forgiveness. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that we may have life. He gave his life so that uh, he, we may have life. As the soldiers, what is their slogan? 
we sacrifice our today so that you may have your tomorrow. Remember that. They sacrificed their life so that. The same way Jesus sacrificed his life for us. God sent his only son so that we have life. So that is the message of Christmas that all of us are called to leave that message, love and share. Whatever way we can share. We are here today to share with our Christmas friends that small gift. It's not the end. Your gift, yeah, that doesn't depend upon your gift, how much you love that person. The love will come, as I always say, when that person needs. A yeah, treasure is not a friend, but a friend is a treasure. That you remember. So that you will realize only the thick and thin when they stand with you all throughout your life. The only person who stands with you is God, who manifested his love for us through his only son. And when he shed his cross and blood on the cross, we knew that he loved us. That is the love all of us. We as Christians, we as priests, you as Sinaians, we as Christians are called to share in whatever way possible, wherever we go. For better or worse, we are known as Christians. Before we are known as human beings, we are known as less than uh, a Christian. Is a, you know, that's what we are known as. The way when we walk, you may not have seen me walking, but I have seen you walking. Uh, so many of you today. How many of you saw me today? Not today which you have seen all of you, but going to the beach. Anyway, but they know when at least some people recognize me. Not all town people, but some people. So they say father's name. So there, my behavior, my thoughts, everything should be at least not a perfect way, that of a Christian, that of a priest. Then you can see that I am sharing God's love, God's uh, mercy and compassion. And uh, I wish you a happy new year and wish that as God has come to share, be with us, we also live for one another. Merry Christmas and happy new year to all of you. Thank you. Uh, so,